everyone, I'm Dr. Putri. We will now discuss one of the most common yet important topic, vaccination in dogs and cats. Vaccination is very important to our pets. Just like human with flu, rubella and polio, pets do have life-threatening and debilitating diseases that can be prevented with vaccination. Examples of vaccine-preventable diseases in cats and dogs are as listed. We humans receive vaccination when we are just a baby and throughout our life with certain type of vaccine as required. This is to protect us. Same protection principle should be applied to our pets too. So, what is vaccination? Vaccination is like giving a body a preview about specific virus or bacteria, allowing it to learn how to defend itself against that potential invader in advance. When your pets receive a vaccine containing a specific virus or bacteria, this immune system produces a special substance called antibody that works against the virus or bacteria that cause the disease. In this case, we will say that the pet is immunized. Unfortunately, vaccination is not equal to immunization due to few factors. Therefore, vaccination cannot guarantee a complete protection from a disease in one particular individual pet. Having said that, vaccinations still play a crucial role in controlling a disease in a population. For pets that has been vaccinated and successfully immunized, you will not see any clinical sign of the disease when they are exposed to the viruses or bacteria in the environment. Because the form antibody will help to destroy the viruses or bacteria, thus preventing your pet from death or becoming ill. For some pets, vaccination drastically reduces the chance of developing the disease. And if they do become ill with a disease that he or she has been vaccinated against from, they are likely to have less symptoms and recover quicker. Each individual immunization status greatly impacts the final outcome in disease control. The more are vaccinated and immunized, the greater the disease control. This is the concept of herd immunity. In general, vaccines can be divided into two classes. Core vaccine and non core vaccine. Core vaccines are those vaccines which all cats and dogs, regardless circumstances, should receive. Core vaccines protect animals from severe, sometimes life threatening diseases which have global distribution. Non core vaccines are vaccines that are recommended when the cats or dogs' geographical location, local environment, or lifestyle places them at risk of contracting specific infection. When puppies and kittens are born, they are usually protected from infection by antibodies from their mother's milk. However, this protection only lasts for a few weeks, so they will need regular vaccination from an early age. Puppies and kittens need a series of few vaccines given 3 to 4 weeks apart, starting from 6 to 8 weeks of age, with the last vaccination falls at least on or beyond 16 weeks old. After this, they will need a vaccine booster one year later. Once they have had this vaccine, the frequency of vaccination afterwards varies depending on the lifestyle of the pet, as well as disease of concern. Some vaccinations are three yearly, while others are yearly. Vaccines are used on a case-by-case -case basis. Therefore, Please talk to your vet to get more information on the vaccination schedule or protocol that protect your pets most. All vaccines can potentially cause side effects. However, side effects or adverse reactions are rare events. And the benefits of appropriate vaccination far outweigh the risk of any potential side effects. It is common for pets to experience mild side effects such as fever, lethargy, soreness at the injection site, or loss of appetite after receiving a vaccine. In a very few cases, a pet can get allergic reaction towards the vaccine. 
other adverse reaction can also occur but extremely rare. Indeed, vaccine reaction in our pets can be stressful for us. But if we know what to watch for and how to react, the stress can be minimised. Your vet shall be the best person to talk to. Always discuss with your vet regarding your concerns. And one more thing, do tell your vet if your pet has had any previous vaccine reaction, regardless how insignificant they may seem. Vaccination reactions severe enough to produce shock are extremely rare because it's basically a function of an individual immune response. However, if a pet has suffered a severe or life-threatening reaction in the past, it is not worth it to continue to expose the pet to the same allergen again. As mentioned before, types and frequency of vaccination is really depending on your pet lifestyle. Also, if you have any concerns that your pet may have serious vaccine reaction, wait at your veterinary clinic for 30 to 60 minutes after vaccination. Regardless how many pets you have at home, it is always best to vaccinate all of them and it doesn't have to be done for all at the same time. Discuss with your vet in order to plan the regime to identify which one have a higher risk and needs to be vaccinated first. It is very important to make sure that they are healthy before vaccination as we need a healthy immune system for it to work. Think about this. We love our pet. We treat them like our children, our family member. And because we love them, we want to protect them. Therefore, vaccinating your pet is a way to protect them. With this information, we hope you now have a better understanding regarding vaccination in your pets.